Hey guys, we get a ton of requests on how to hem your Dylan and your Janice flared jeans. So we are gonna show you the super quick and easy, no sew quick way to do that. Up. Yep, so I have the Janice on right now. They are the elastic waist ones. So you can see that they're a little saggy for me. Yep. So Alicia's gonna walk you through how to hem them. So depending on um, how short you want them, you always wanna make sure that you are going to measure twice and cut once. So if you plan to wear your Janus with a heel, um, this length will actually be fine. But so we can show you guys, we're gonna go ahead and cut them. So what you'll wanna do is make sure you put on the tallest shoe that you think that you're gonna wear the um, jeans with. And then you're gonna to want to measure, let it hit the floor or wherever you want it to um, hit. And let's say that I want the Janice jeans to be at the floor. What I do is I'm gonna mark with a pen about a quarter of an inch longer than that because you wanna allow for the fraying. And then I'm just gonna make a slight mark with my pen, which hopefully you can see. We'll show you a closer up in just a second. And so I just mark on one side of it and then half, and half an inch longer than how you're actually gonna want it to be because you wanna make sure you allow for the um, fraying of the hem. Okay. Do you need to do it on the other side or yep. the other side? Okay. So flatten it out. Make sure you look at where you want it to hit. So if I want the length to be right here, I'm gonna measure about a half an inch longer than that. And you only need to make a mark on one side really because um, you can just measure it up when you cut on the other side. Okay. So I'm just gonna slip them off. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Okay. Now I can show you guys a little bit closer up. So I literally just made a super quick line mark with um, my pen and then what I'll do is I will lay the Janus flat just like this put it on the ground and make sure that you are make sure that you are going to um, cut on a hard ground like this put it here and then also make sure, I think fabric scissors are key for yes. a clean line. Um, so the sharpest or the sharpest pair you have, maybe sharpen <laughs> your kitchen pair if you can, because the sharper the scissor, the better for just having a nice even cut. And literally poultry scissors are fine. Yeah. So just go ahead and cut. You'll now notice that the pants have a natural curve. So you're kind of going to want to follow the natural curve that the pants have. And again, the line doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to fray them anyways. I guess it'd be helpful if you show it in the... So as you can see, my line is not perfect but this edge is gonna go ahead and fray when you wash it anyways. And if you want it to fray sooner, you can pull out a couple rows. See the threads right here? You can pull out a couple rows of the threads and it'll fray. So this is one side that I went ahead and cut. It'll fray once you wash it. But there's the line right there that I cut and I um, made the cutting line just slightly past that. For the sake of time, I'm not going to do the other side, but you just repeat it on the other side. Then Alexa is going to put them back on and show you. And again, these are the two scissors that I have. Again, um, fabric scissors are fantastic, but um, if you don't have them, poultry scissors are great too. So now you can see this is obviously the side we didn't cut. This one is now perfect if I want to wear a flat shoe. It's not dragging as much as this guy is. But I'm on my tiptoe so you can kind of see. And like we said, they will naturally fray when you wash. But that's how easy it is, guys. Just 
Measure twice, cut once. Cut once. And you can do this with our share. G yeah, any of our flare pants that you need a little trim on. It works with the share, it works with the Dylan, it works with the Janice that I'm wearing. But it's that easy. So try it out. Okay, bye. Bye.